Hi all, welcome to sixth part of the video lecture on ER model. So so far we discussed that uh, ER model the basic um, notations are all like uh, entity uh, that attributes and different types of attributes and how these things are basically represented. So that is what we seen so far. Now it's a time for us to uh, introduce something called the relationship. How different entities are related to each other. Okay, so that completes the ER diagram. So just like uh, what we seen like entity type and entity sets here also you can think about something called a relationship type and relationship set. Okay. So let me take this as an example. You know typically in this uh, employee um, entity we are having and we denote it by um, some rectangular box in the ER diagram. Okay. So um, we are having this employee entity. And the, uh, there are different attributes of this, like the name of the employee, is uh, social security number, age, address, like that many things are there. Similarly, there is another entity called the department. So when, when it comes to uh, ER diagram, this is the notation we are having. Again, department uh, number, name, like that many things are there, okay. Anyway, I am just giving a sample. Ex so now how these two uh, the entities are related so typically relation uh, we denote uh, we represent by means of a diamond uh, structure so like this in a diamond symbol you can represent the relationship and you can connect the corresponding uh, entities which are part of it through mm, some straight line okay so here i can think of uh, an employee is working on a department right so the relationship can be given a name like works for or uh, at the sometimes the employee can be managing the department also that will be a different relation okay so anyway this example is talking about this works for relationship so if i am looking at this works for relationship you know further if you want you can keep attributes for this relationship also just like entity attribute like uh, how many hours this particular employee is working on a department if that is the case sometimes it may be for a project and all so depending on the requirement from the user if you want you can add some attribute for the relationship type also anyway this relationship type in the sense this is a typical structure i am having okay but uh, if you are looking at more details see what what is happening is employee this is a um, entity type right so now this entity type is having an corresponding entity set in the sense the collection of all instances right so for a even is a particular instance of this employee entity even is uh, means it's a particular employee i'm talking about d2 is another employee e3 is another employee so here i will have a attribute value for all the attributes of this employee entity type so that thing you already know similarly at the other side d1 d2 d3 these are all different department entity instances and together this uh, this collection makes the entity set of this employee entity similarly what is this this is the entity type so entity type uh, what we mean is the schema or the structure and instance means the collection of value or it's an extension of the entity type so that thing you know similarly here also this works for if i'm looking like this this is a a relationship type i can say so this is a particular type of relationship i am having and these are all the relationship instances so these are all uh, i can say this is a relationship set okay so that is the thing and you can see that uh, here employee one is related to department one by this relation instance r1 similarly employee two is working on department two like that many things so here you can see many employees are getting uh, working on a particular department right so here e1 is working uh, e2 e2 is in department 2 e3 is also on department 1 similarly this e6 is also in department 1 through this relation r6 so like that okay so some kind of many to one mapping you can see and you know basically mm, so here i have an entity set right so what is happening is so let me denote it by in general by entity one entity one is having a set of entities like uh, even this e capital even uh, i mean for the entity type and the entity set corresponding to it is denoted like even e2 e3 etc okay some n number of entities are there say finite uh, similarly here 
let me denote it by another entity type that is a department entity having the instances like d1 or the having the entity set as d1 d2 d3 etc some d okay now you know when you take what is a relation the mathematical meaning of relation is uh, hope you remember it's subset of the cartesian product right so when i'm having a relation or what is basically happening so the instance of the relationship are so something like a so you take this even cross product e2 okay so what you will get you will get the ordered pairs like e1 d1 this c1 itself d2 e1 itself d3 like that many instances you will get this these are all different relation instances similarly e2 d1 like that so it's a full cartesian product and at any point if you are looking at a subset of this that is your relation instance okay so this middle one uh, so th this one i am denoted like e1 and this one i denote like e2 so what is a relation relation is a subset of the cartesian product of the sets representing the entity like e1 and e2 are the sets entity sets corresponding to entity type e1 e2 okay so that is a collection so you take the cartesian product the mathematical meaning you know so this is a collection of ordered pair x y z z x is from e1 and y is from e2 and uh, at any time i will be looking at a particular subset of it so all these uh, elements of the cartesian product may not be there in my particular relation okay so this is the mathematical uh, meaning of a relation the relationship type and relationship set hope these two terminologies are clear among so here i am talking about something called a here i can say that this r is a binary relation okay binary relation because it is trying to relate two entities right or i can say that the degree of the relation r is 2 so that is what uh, we call as a binary relation now you can think of a relation which is of degree 3 which is trying to relate i mean more than two um, entities uh, so some example uh, i will show you or uh, so in that case you can call it as a ternary relation okay even e2 e3 so similarly some nary relationship you can generalize in general so if i have some n entity i can relate those n entity using a common relation also and that time that relation will be a subset of e1 cross product e2 cross product etc cross product e n okay so something like this okay so among n entities e1 e2 etc e n if i am defining a relationship type r in general it defines a set of associations so here you can see that this e1 is associated to d1 through r1 similarly e2 is associated to d2 through r2 e3 is associated to d1 again through r3 okay so these are all different associations or relationship sets uh, together it makes relationships among the entities from these uh, types mathematically the relationship set r is a set of all relationship instances like r1 r2 r3 etc in general ra where each ra associates some n individual so here i we, we were talking about a binary relation in general it will be a so in binary relation i am getting uh, so if i'm here if i'm looking at uh, what so if i'm looking at this particular relation so let me call it as relationship r i can see that this r is basically uh, containing this uh, e1 d1 is on 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 instance of this r and e2 d2 is another one and e3 d1 is a third one like that okay so this kind of a uh, mapping i am getting because here i am talking about ordered pair because it's a binary relation in general if i have a n entities i will be getting a collection of ordered n tuples something like this okay so that collection will be my relationship instance where each entity instance ej in the relationship instance ra is a member of the entity type capital capital e here corresponds to the entity type and small e corresponds to the entity instance okay hence a relationship set is mathematically a relation the normal uh, mathematical meaning is uh, what we assumed here also on uh, some n sets like e1 e2 etc en alternately it can be defined as a subset of the cartesian product so normal mathematic definition of relation is what is highlighted here and uh, that is from e1 to en and here this e entities which are um, together connected by the relation i can call uh, like they are participating in the relationship uh, r 
so that is on terminology you can see that the entities are said to participate in the relationship type r and the instances are also like even need to uh, small uh, letters so they are also getting uh, participated in the relationship instance uh, that is ri uh, which is an ordered n tuple okay and you know in the er diagram we represent a relationship by a diamond shaped box something like i shown here okay so this kind of a diamond shaped box we will use for representing the relationship type which are connected by straight line to the rectangular boxes representing the particular entity types and the name of the relation is typically displayed over the uh, diamond shaped box something like this okay and uh, degree of the relationship also we uh, saw the, it's a number of participating entity types right for example in works for it's a binary like it's a degree 2 and uh, mm, if it is um, binary we if the degree is 2 we can call it as a binary relation and similarly if the degree um, degree is 3 we can call it as a ternary relation like that so one example given for a ternary relation is this supply okay so it is something like a, uh, we have a ternary relation called a supply okay and what we mean by this is there is one entity called a supplier who is supplying items this is an entity and we are trying to supply some parts of the item so the part uh, information we are keeping here and a particular part the supplier will be supplying to a particular project okay some some mini world example that's all you can think of any any example okay so at any time you can see a particular supplier instance is a part instance p and a project instance so it's denoted by j okay project instance say j they are related through a supply relationship instance okay something like that so we can see that yes supplies part p to a project j something like that at any time the supplier s yes, is trying to supply a part p for a project j so that is how you can interpret this okay so similarly you can think about uh, relationship with any degree okay so but uh, of course this higher order relations are generally more complex than binary uh, relationships so this is the typical um, scenarios what is happening in supply relationship you can see it's a uh, participating entities are like a supplier part and project at any time if you are focusing on a particular relationship instance say r1 it's trying to connect this uh, entity instance s1 part instance p1 with the um, project instance j1 like that so here uh, we can say that the supplier one is uh, supplying a part p1 to project j1 so this is uh, similarly another instance uh, you can see here that is the relationship instance r2 where it is trying to relate the same uh, supplier uh, is trying to supply the same part now to a different uh, project so that can happen right so like that the cardinality and those things will vary and that we will see explore uh, more detail uh, so so now something called a role name and recursive relationships okay so you know whenever i have a relation like so here uh, we were thinking about uh, the employee works for a department so here this entity employee is having a role right so he is the employee right who is working for the relation where if you are looking at department e department is the employer who is providing that job so every entity participating in the relationship type is having a role right but by default uh, this kind of cases the role is very specific because this entity name itself is saying what role it is having okay so there is uh, nothing more interesting on it but uh, this role names are very important when it comes to something called a self-referencing relation so here the relation is trying to relate to two different entity and that time there is nothing special about the role name but sometimes uh, uh, what we can see yeah something like this so the employee uh, supervises another employee so th th that thing you know right so we we have this entity table okay entity uh, sorry uh, we have this entity uh, called the employee so employee is the entity i am having now i am trying to define a binary relationship 
and the relationship name is supervision okay and now what about the other entity participating in it you can see that the other entity is also the same something like this so what does it mean uh, so both are employees only right one employee is supervising another employee so we can't refer to two different entities so it's something recursive in nature right so the relationship is trying to refer the same entity two times uh, in a recursive manner okay so uh, this is something called as the recursive relationship or self-referencing re relationship the relation is trying to refer itself I mean the same uh, entity two times so it's not trying to relate so it's a binary relation but on both uh, side of the relation we are having a single entity something like this. so simply a recursive relation that way also you can see now the role matters because when I am saying that a particular employee instance even is uh, related through this relationship instance R1 with the another employee say if i so i uh, here i am thinking about the relationship instance r r1 as a supervision relationship instance and i am trying to relate employee even with the if i out of the even and if i one is a supervisor and other one is a subordinate okay so now you have to clearly say who is having the role of supervisor and who is having the role of a subordinate here in this diagram this one day denote for uh, supervisor and two day denote for subordinate so here uh, this line they are mentioning two in the sense even is a subordinate and here you can see this one meaning that e5 is the supervisor supervisor for this particular relationship instance but it can be different also right so uh, so that also now this role num name matters you can uh, mention it like uh, so maybe when i'm having a relationship like this this side i mean for the supervisor and this side uh, i mean for the subordinate okay subordinate and i can say that like uh, the employee um one side it is having the role of a supervisor and other side it is having the role of a subordinate but both are referring to the same employee table now the role name, name matters and normally in ER diagram we used to um, give the role name specifically like this okay so that will uh, be more explanatory when you are communicating with the user and also it's easy for him to follow so that about it so each entity type that participate in a relationship type plays a particular role in the relationship right and it helps to explain what relationship it means the role name signifies the role that a participating entity from the entity type plays in the relationship instance for example this works for relation employee plays a role of an employee or a worker department plays a role of a department or an employer but the role names are not technically necessary so this is important um, i mean necessary in relation types uh, where all the participating entities are distinct so in this works for relation and all the entities are different so you don't have to specifically mention the role the entity name itself uh, explain it right since each participating entity type name can be used as a role name the entity name itself uh, can be used as the role name so it is not that much interesting so however in some cases the same entity type may participate more than once in the relationship type in a different role right so this is what we are interested in such cases role name becomes essential for distinguishing the meaning of the role that each participating entity plays that is where that whether that uh, employee entity is playing the role of a supervisor or a subordinate that you have to clearly mention okay and such uh, relationships are called a recursive relation or self-referencing relation and for them this uh, role names are very important okay so this is what we see so that about it so in this video we discussed the uh, concept called so already we covered entity entity type instance attributes everything now it is um, where we can start relating the entities each other through relationship meaningful relationship and relationship is basically a the normal meaning of relation applies here also it's subset of the cartesian product so here uh, the subset of the cartesian product that is nothing but even cross product e2 so where each individual set is nothing but the entity set okay and uh, finally that role name and the mm, recursive relation okay thank you